Good morning, Booktube. This is Johnny. Uh, I saw it since it's a quiet morning and my wife does not get home from work until about 8.30. It's 7.18 here in the morning here in West Michigan. It's July the 20th, 2017. Sitting here writing in my diary I'm on page 653. Got my books out for devotions, got my Bible, and uh, yeah, reading still that book on adoption, Sons in the Sun, Riches and Reach of Adoption in Christ by David B. Gardner, and uh, looking at my new book, the book of Jeremiah, Joy A. Shrouder, translator and editor, The Bible and Medieval Tradition. I was reading here on the history of medieval hermeneutics, biblical interpretation. So yeah, drinking a cup of coffee. Gotta take my pills in the morning. You get my age. You got to worry about your cholesterol and. This little pill is for my stomach. One thing I didn't mention, when I was growing up, I start, I had ulcers since I was 10 years old. Peptic ulcers. I was sick all my life from about when I was 10 years old. Well, I, got, I had some really bad spells, but for many years, I couldn't sleep at night. I was always sick with my upset stomach. So I would write. <laughs> That's what I would do. Uh, I remember when I was in college up on Mackinac Island back when I was 21 years old uh, in the dorm in this building that we the dorm had this big huge like uh, sitting room and I would go there in the middle of the night two o'clock three o'clock in the morning and I remember sitting there in my big coat at some table writing in my diary and when all my life I mean I, I start these pills I just took that pill I just took it's been about uh, I'd say at least 20, 20 years that I have not been sick. Yeah, it's been about, about 20 years. Th those pills were really a miracle. But I was sick for years with a terrible s ulcers. And s I couldn't eat anything. I just would throw it up and get sick. So I'm really thankful for that pill. And uh, so I'm just here to make a video I mentioned I went to the thrift store. Today is gonna, it's gonna rain all day in thunderstorms. and I don't go anywhere when it's raining or thunderstorms. I just, I can't drive in any kind of bad weather. But these are the th books I found at a thrift store the other day. This is uh, Turkish Reflections, a biography of a place by Mary Lee Settle. I have three other books by her in our library. She writes tra travel memoirs. She wrote a novel. Uh, she won the National Book Award for her novel, Blood Tie. And I was really pleased to find a novel by Don Powell, The Happy Island. Uh, the American, the Library of America just uh, published uh, two volumes of her works. And I've been really tempted to buy those. Uh, she, uh, her, I even looked at her diaries, uh, the diaries of Don Powell, 1931 to 1965. Uh, she has The Locust Have No King is a novel that, that I want to buy. I noticed here that it's in uh, paperback. I might go look for it today. The Locusts Have No King. This is how they describe that novel by Don Powell. Powell's brutal uh, 
part uh, satire of New York intelligence. I can't, Intentionalia, I can't pronounce One of her finest novels, better than anything currently on the bestsellers list. Don Powell lived from 1896 to 1965, wrote 15 novels, numerous plays and short stories, as well as her posthumously published and much acclaimed diaries. Tim Page is the author of Don Powell, a biography. I gotta look that up. So anyway, I found this Don Powell, The Happy Island. And I found an, this novel by Sue Miller. I, I, I recommend the novels of Sue Miller. This one I didn't have in my Sue Miller collection. The Limited, The Shore, The Lake Shore Limited, a novel by Sue Miller. And I found this book, uh, El Greco to Murillo, Spanish Painting in the Golden Age, 1956. It's a 1700 by Nana Ale Mallory. Uh, I like El Greco, he's one of my favorite Spanish artists, so I found that. And I found Driven West, Andrew Jackson and the Trail of Tears to the Civil War by A.J. Languth. It's in perfect condition. It looks like a library book. It's not even uh, so. I like reading about American history. Then I found a biography on Mark Twain by Ron Powers. I had this book in a hardback. Uh, it was a library reject. Uh, I, so I got this one. I'll keep this one and take the other one back to the book nook, the library used bookstore. And then I found uh, Oliver Sacks' memoir, Uncle Tucson, The Mem Memories of a Chemical Boyhood. I also had this as a library reject, and I'm going to keep this copy. And then I found this novel, I have this novel on hardback. Uh, this is a paperback. It's called the the Quinn Clex by Charles Pulitzer. I have another novel of his I picked up at uh, a used book sale. You can tell it's really a clunker. It's almost um, 800 pages, uh, but yeah. So. About Mark Twain, I was reading uh, last year this book, The Bohemians, Mark Twain, San Francisco Writers and Re who, and Re who Reinvented American Literature by Ben Turgoff. I should get back into reading this. I, I read about 65 pages. I got it back out to look at. So those are the used books I found at thrift stores put these down on the lower level. I really recommend Sue Miller's novels. And pick up Don Powell, Don Powell. And so yeah, that's, that's about it here in Book World. I wish I could pronounce words. Uh, it's like, uh, I was right, uh, I mentioned a while back in a video about why I didn't become a writer. Uh, not only because I didn't think I had the stanima or the discipline, but I can't spell. Uh, I don't know. My wife thinks I have a learning de uh, defect. And uh, I don't know. It's kind of crazy when you think about that I wanted to be a a gospel preacher get in the pulpit teach and preach when I can't uh, when I have I can't even pronunciate just think if I had to go through the book of Leviticus and read that out loud from a pulpit or some of those kings of Israel and Judah 
or go through the genealogies of Jesus in the Gospels, how I would just slaughter them. It would just be really embarrassing. It's even embarrassing here making videos and how I can't, can't pronounce the uh, foreign, foreign names or Greek or Latin or Portuguese or French or I can't pronounce it South American writers and it's just but like I said when I come here to booktube I'm just being myself and all my flaws and uh, you just got to be who you are I mean if I was uh, I'm a very insecure person I get I'm always kind of defensive and always somehow got to think that I got to defend myself when I think that somebody's being critical of me. I get uh, really insecure. That's why it's kind of easy making booktube videos because I can talk into this camera and I can download this video and you can watch it or not. Uh, it's up to you. Same as writing in my online diaries. I've been writing in Crooked Fingers now going on 16 years. And I've had you know, a good experience. Uh, uh, way back in the beginning, I, maybe I had a few bad experiences, but very rare. And in Facebook, I started Facebook just to be in contact with my, my siblings and our children and friends but, and I've had a good experiences in booktube. I mean, I, I rarely get any negative response. So yeah, I do notice that I got more subs sus subscribers lately and I appreciate that. And I look forward to interacting with you guys. And I do like comments, I do like and responding to comments so yeah so uh, yesterday afternoon I read that biography in Henry David Thoreau and uh, that's about it so I suppose I'll close I hope you have a a good Thursday and until next time bye